Really fast Pixel tablet? Check. Wireless charging dock with a speaker? Check. Voice assistant with a smart display? Check. Smart dashboard, eh, it doesn't really have one. So I made a few tweaks and now it has one of the best dashboards you can get right now. It has even motion activation and everything. It's the ultimate smart home dashboard. To be honest, when I first tried out the Pixel tablet, I was a little disappointed with the dashboard. The only thing it has is this little button down here that you can press and it shows a bunch of your Google Home favorites. It's kind of like, you know, a Pixel phone, but there's no real built-in dashboard like a Nest Hub Max. That's what I thought it was gonna be like. You just attach this and it turns into a Nest Hub Max with like all the good swiping gestures, all the rooms and all of that kind of stuff, but you don't really have that. And I'm not really a big fan of the button layouts. They're big, they take up a lot of space. Sure, it's kind of user-friendly, but we could definitely do better. So since this is a Google Pixel tablet, out of the gate, it's going to be way better than the Amazon Fire tablets because you don't have to sideload the Google Play Store to get Android apps and all of that nonsense. So I was wondering, could I just download my favorite smart home app like SmartThings or Home Assistant and just have that app always open as my dashboard? Well, there's not really a way to do that with the Pixel tablet, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to turn to third-party apps. There's an app in the Google Play Store called Foley Kiosk Browser. And what this app does is allows you to put the URL of your dashboard, something like Home Assistant, and it will display your dashboard on the tablet in full screen mode and give you some extra settings. For example, you can have the screen turn off if no one's around and turn on from the camera. Yeah, that's right. You can walk up to it and it will automatically turn on the screen. It works so well. And the screen's off, so it's not distracting when you're watching something, but if I do need to use the dashboard, all I have to do is lean forward and it turns on. It's so much more convenient having it right here next to the couch too than up on the wall, because all I have to do is lean over and press a button. So easy. And it gets even better. If my kids try to exit out of the dashboard app, or I should say, when my kids try to exit out of the dashboard app and try to use my Google account, they can't because technically this tablet is locked and this dashboard is sitting on top of the lock screen. Yeah, take that, kids. Ooh, I like the new iPad. Oh, it's not an iPad. It's a Pixel tablet and it's actually a smart home dashboard. So what's your iPad passcode? It's a Pixel tablet. Now, if I want to use the tablet, all I have to do is pop it off the dock, log in, and now I can use all the apps on the tablet, like watch YouTube videos, and this Pixel tablet is way faster than the Fire tablet I was using here before. All the apps load fast and it's night and day different. This app, Fully Kiosk Browser, does cost $9 for those extra features like using the camera to turn on the display. But I think it's worth it because it's just a one-time payment and people love it. So what about Google Assistant? I was kind of worried that this app would interfere with the smart display, you know, if you ask it the weather, will it still show up on the screen? And everything still seemed to be working fine. So you might be wondering what that dashboard is, and that's actually a Home Assistant dashboard that I built for a previous video, and I'll link it down below and it goes into more detail how I set it all up. But I love this dashboard because it crams in tons of information and controls onto the screen. Like I can control Spotify, our thermostat, all of our lights, and there's even a live view of our doorbell. So yeah, you can see exactly who's on our front porch right now. And so that makes it perfect. If someone's at our door, you can just walk up to this dashboard. It automatically turns on and you can see who's at the door. That's pretty sweet. So you take all of that and you put it in this Pixel tablet that comes with the magnetic charging dock that also has an included speaker on it. Now, the speaker isn't the best. It's not gonna sound like a Nest Hub Max but it is gonna sound better than the speakers on the tablet. And with all that combined, you have the ultimate smart home dashboard. And what's cool is that this dock only charges up the tablet to 90% to help preserve battery life. I know that this tablet and dock are not perfect and at $500, it's a little pricey, but once you consider all the things that it can do, I think it's a lot better than a standalone tablet that might get forgotten about and not charged or a smart display that doesn't get used much on the counter. With this, 
It turns on right when you walk by. So you just want to use the dashboard and pick it up and start using it as a tablet. It's so convenient. So for that, I think it's going to get used a lot more and be worth it. Thanks for watching. It's my iPad. Make that scream? Sure. Whoa, hey, who's doing that? <laughs>